what pants were you wearing? So you have to, to recap, <laughs> you have buckle. You had the, hol- the Hollister so, pants where I had the, no, the cargo no. belt with the drive scorpion no. jacket, fingerless gloves, and no. high tops, and then what pants? Yes, no, and and Morpheus sunglasses. <laughs> he had little tiny Morpheus sunglasses <laughs> that covered only half his eyes. Welcome to Cream Crew. Tom's gone, so Trevor's here. Hello, Trevor. Hello. I've been watching a lot of trash TV lately. Mm-hmm. Nice garbage TV. It's like having a McDonald's cheeseburger every new episode. And that trash TV has been Catfish, the TV show. Is that trash TV? I thought that was... That is the epitome of like, yeah, trash TV. That's a bad. good show. Yeah. Okay. Well. Every episode is always just like, this is... Uh, I don't know, fucking, this is Rachel, and she's been dating uh, David, and it shows David, and he's like, obviously this hot guy, and then it's always like, every time I try to get on a call with him, his cell phone breaks up, or whenever we video message, his camera's broken, or he's, he, I can't see him, he's in a dark room, mm-hmm. and he's like, wow, okay, well, let's fly up to Wisconsin and see who it is. <laughs> And they do it. There's a very formulaic of like they inter they interchange it to where it's like some of it is it's like sometimes they're the real people, but the majority of the time it's just like like some fat nerd. He's like, I just didn't think you'd like me for me. Like, no shit, dude, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> we watched one, and it was a guy who was disabled, and he was like, you know, they didn't tell you that at the start, so they were kind of catfishing you at the beginning of the episode because they're like. This is Robert, and he's whatever. I love Robert. Him. He's a good man, and uh, he. Uh, you couldn't tell he was disabled. It was like they just kept showing pictures of him that he would post on like. Um, so they walk dating in, sites. They walk into his living room, and he's fucking sprawled out on this couch <laughs> with his fucking little gub gub legs, his little like tiny like you know like the kind of like handicap legs where it's like literally just skin mm-hmm. draped over bone. Yeah, it's no weird. muscle. Yeah. All the muscles. And he was like, gone. he's like, what up? He's <laughs> yeah. cool. And then like he was like, yeah, I'm in love with this chick, and it's like the most beautiful girl, and you're like, oh, Robert, right. <laughs> what are you doing to yourself here, dude? Yeah. It ends up being this like fat autistic girl who's like, I'm gonna throw up. They like show literally, up literally, she's walking up to the house, and she has up. to have Neve hold her because she's like, you think he, it's he's cute? Like, he's like, how first. are you doing? She yeah. goes, I think I'm gonna throw up. He's like, oh, you're fine. She's like. No, seriously, I'm like about to throw up. Yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, it's cute. Like, oh, I'm so nervous. I might throw up, like sarcastically. Mm-hmm. But she's like, I might throw up. And then she like burrows his face, <laughs> her face into like Neve's chest. And then he's like, okay, well, are you, what's going on? And the guy's like, fucking Robert sitting there yeah. in a handicapped body. He's come like, here, boo boo. He's like, come here, princess. <laughs> Well, she goes into the house and she's like, she's all about it, like knowing that because he didn't lie. She knew he was handicapped. But she, she but she, but lied. she was the liar. So well, Robert yeah. Say? Well, there was a, uh, he there was, was definitely pissed. a wash. Well, he was pissed. Was, but there was a wash of disappointment. Uh, pissed. Of yeah. Ah, uh, shit. She was not an no attractive way. woman. Just she they were like both. A, they were like both, they were both very sweet and stuff. But it was it, that was a very funny episode because like. He's, they're like, all right, well, we'll leave. Get, we'll give you get you two some time alone. And she just like immediately gets up and she's like, I love you. I hope you feel better. <laughs> yeah. And hugs him and, and walks out. But it's like, dude, he's dying. Yeah. He's like, oh, uh, okay. yeah, it's it's like, mm. you know, like weird. Someone's like, <laughs> I hope you I feel love, better. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I hope you yeah. feel better. <laughs> and then she like walks out and you're like, okay. And then she gets in the car and they're all like, that was quick. Yeah. She's like, I told her that I love him and I hope that he feels better. They're like, don't you want to say anything else okay, or hang cool. out with him? And she's like, well, no. Well, she's like, uh, they're like, okay, cool. Well, let's go. And it's like two. And then after after every whole thing, it's always like two months later. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting there, and uh, they get on video calls with the people, and they get on Robert, and they're like, hey, Robert, how's it going? He's like, what's up? Yeah, doing good. I got this new girlfriend. She lives thirty minutes from me. Blah blah. And they're like, oh, so what happened to her? And he's like, honestly, the drama. Yeah, I can't deal with it <laughs> and stuff. And like, whatever he's doing his own thing. And then they call the chick afterwards, and she's just like, he was emotionally abusive. <laughs> yeah. After two days, we got a huge fight. He was screaming it was really at good. me. It was really good for two days, but then he just he was yeah. emotionally harassing me the whole time. Pretty funny. Yeah, Re- retards are hilarious. But it's a, but it's a, I, agree. I fully agree. But it's a, it's definitely just trash TV at its finest. It's just like you just, it's just garbage. I felt like when that first came out, it was really groundbreaking. 
Like, it was. I, think, yeah. I think the movie Exciting. was. Oh, it was not, a movie the, first? Well, as soon as it was so like a So is this like a show. spinoff show? Yeah, for, yeah. Is it the same guy? So the guy, the guy yeah. Neve. Right, right. Right. What yeah. a name is that? Neve. Israeli? Probably. Is it really? I would assume. Neve Shulman. I mute that. Mm. Block, block that, I would have been. <laughs> uh, he sat there and it was like really interesting. And it's like a heartbreaking movie of like, you are like pissed at the catfish for a while because you feel bad for the guy. But then you like mm. see her situation and shit, and you're like, "Fuck, man!" Like, yeah, that does suck. I'd pretend to be like a little hot piece of ass, a little 22 year old with a tight pussy and shit. The woman's got like literally two Down syndrome sons who are in wheelchairs and stuff. And she's oh, the just movie's like, oh, just like, about, it's just about it's just about yeah. him. Yeah, okay. The guy who's he was the host catfish. of oh, Catfish. So, the, yeah. so then that way okay. they spin it off in the show, but then it's just like MTV garbage. Yeah, yeah. I was just right. like, I love him. He's my man, <laughs> and I'm going to find out who he is. And it ends mm-hmm. up being like, I don't know, the woman's like, it's just like, oh my God, Sarah. And it's yeah. Just like, I, wo- I loved you all my life. <laughs> you could tell it's, but it's because done in every like, episode. But it's done yeah. in like 30 minutes. Yeah. So literally really- every episode, they're like, it's someone that you knew. And this is like, okay, this is like, <laughs> so it, it, old it's, now. it's one of those fun things too, where it's like, uh, it's so obviously scripted. Mm-hmm. Right. Of like, all right, well, um, Okay, well, obviously, we, we put in this image, and we found a search result. That she's been using this person's Instagram photo, so we'll just message them, and then, like, two seconds later, it's like, mm-hmm. they, oh, my God, I'm getting a call from them. Yeah. Hello? Hey, this is, you know, Denise from Instagram. Who is this? <laughs> hey, it's Neve from MTV's Catfish. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Neve? <laughs> Uh, okay, it's like they're what? always like, "I love that show." Yeah, exactly. I love that show. It premieres on Saturday nights at, yeah. <laughs> at midnight. Right? It's yeah. right. It's a good hour. It's a good slot. <laughs> and then it was funny because then I we were doing some like we we researched some of the show and the most pointless character of it though is his brother Max. Yeah, his brother Max is there and he holds a tiny camcorder the entire time that serves nothing. They very mm. rarely use the footage from it, so it's always just like, "Oh my god." Oh, so are you telling me that this might be Rebecca? Could this be Rebecca? Okay, I have to leave. I can't do this. And he like puts it down on the couch to where it's still filming. Yeah. He's like, I have to go. It's also like, th- these are episodes from like 2019, and he's still using like the world's shittiest, smallest. It's like, like a Walmart. Canon it's like a point Walmart. Click, yeah. yeah. Or point and shoot thing. Mm-hmm. It yeah. must have cost like $70. And they, <laughs> they do it in a weird way, too, where whenever they're filming <clears throat> the person that they're Zoom calling, it's always from the camera like on the zoom call at that point so take out your shitty, fucking iphone just screen record it you're on a mac mm-hmm. he's on like the newest mac you can just screen record the, the whole thing but he's it's like this tiny little point and shoot that he's just putting at it and it's always at a fucked up angle and there's a glare on the screen or it's, it's, it's awful it's he, gorilla dude he did a yeah. uh right. he, uh, season six he was like i'm stepping away from the show to pursue my own dreams <laughs> yeah. of being a filmmaker and he like made this film with zach efron and it was a huge fucking flop is that dj movie did you ever hear about that no yeah it's like zach efron goes to a house party and meets a dj and he's like i want to be a dj and the whole thing is like he's struggling to do a bunch wait of who, Molly who and is DJ. who is this right now <laughs> yeah it's this guy called dead mouth five <laughs> have you heard of him have you heard that yeah no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stepped away from like an obvious massive cash cow with MTV to make that movie. At, at one at one point, I'm always wondering with people like, what is the what's the limit of money before you're just like, I just don't care. I'm just gonna go off and do my own thing. Are you browsing the internet unprotected? No safety gear. Going in raw. You fool. You madman. You need to protect yourself. NordVPN is easy to use. Connect with one click or enable auto connect for your protection. Any of you got any of you guys want to mint some NFTs? For extra protection, users can route their information through two VPN servers. NordVPN encrypts all of your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your internet speed. Holiday season deal! Go to nordvpn.com forward slash cream to get a huge discount on a two year plan plus one additional month free. You know? Yeah. Or unless he like legitimately, he probably well. In all fairness, he probably legitimately thought that he had a good idea and was going to do something with it. But even after like after right, that yeah. one failure on that much of like a level, I would have just gone back and been like, "Right, hey Neve, <laughs> he that comes oh. in with a camera. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I come back?" And Neve's like sitting there, and he has like a whole fucking like female cast of like mm-hmm. co guests now. And he's just like probably no. They all they shoehorn in Neve's fucking wife. 
Yeah, and they God. always all of the women that they have in there are like the most random. Like there's a model. It's not always women, but like when it is just the other person. If it's not women, it's a basketball player. Yeah, literally. it's literally it was literally like a football player from from the Giants and then like Nick Young from the Lakers and then all of the women, it's like <clears throat> Jim, Jim Carrey's started. daughter. Why? Like for no, they don't even explain know. why. And also do they, do they, she's a huge catfish. Do they, do they all show up at the retard's house? Yeah. Like yeah. Jim Carrey's daughter. Literally Bruce Willis's Bruce Willis and daughter is there. Daughter, and then yeah. they go up How to, could they, you? they go up to Wyoming and yeah. she's in a long supreme <laughs> jacket. Yeah. And she's just like sitting in the crazy. This is crazy. These retards are crazy. You're, what a fucking crazy. You're missing your teeth. Are you like white trash? Are you ghetto? This is crazy. Are you retarded? Like you were, that's, they you were talked outside. to him like fucking pigs. Yeah, you were outside on the yeah. phone and there was a point where Jim Carrey's daughter, it was like these two gay guys. One of them was uh, getting catfish and he was the just the most insufferable. Like yeah. he he was like, I never wear a shirt because oh, I'm, the gay I'm beautiful. Yeah. And like they were like, okay, well, it's you live in Hartford, Connecticut. It's freezing. So they, you know, he's just like not wearing a shirt. He's wearing tiny little shorts. And then he gets catfished. The whole thing is that he got catfished by his ex best friend because the because the original guy who's getting catfished fucked the other guy's boyfriend. And so he's like, you ruined my life. So I want to ruin your life. And at one point they're like, Neve is talking to both of them and they're kind of arguing. And Jim Carrey's daughter out of nowhere just chimes in and she's like, you don't need to talk about anyone right now because of what you did. And I was just like. If I was the catfish in that situation, I'd be like, who, the, why, why, the, why are the you whole, here? The whole time, though, I was saying it would be really funny if she was like, yeah. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just wearing a big yellow zoot suit, <laughs> spinning around. Like, like, All it's, right, it's, this is also Jim Carrey. They just didn't call her real it's name. It's way, like, this way worse than that, though. It's, it's got to be terrible. Like, smoking. 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 <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, gay guy. Hey, gay guy who's getting catfish. You want to hear, hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like the most, it's just such random people. Like, we, they, they were talking about the this next upcoming episode. We have Nick Young from the Lakers, and both Hunter and I looked at each other and we're like, why? It's just what, like, what's it's, he going to do? Yeah, what's exactly. The point it's of it it's being one of those things where he's just like, on and off the court. I watch catfish, <laughs> yeah. and I also have my own social experiments where I also <laughs> am an investigator for all sorts of kinds of social interactions. <laughs> it's my passion. Right? Like, didn't you just sign a contract where you make forty million dollars mm -hmm. a day playing a children's sport? Mm -hmm. <laughs> catfish is my life. I love catfish. I love catfish. <laughs> it airs at seven p.m. on seven, MTV Pacific. Like looking right at the camera. Yes, yeah, seven p.m. <laughs> there was one. It was a. It was an NFL player. Uh, he was he played for the Giants or something, and it was two gay guys again that were like doing the catfish thing, and one of them sent a dick pic, and Neve is like, "Check this out," and like shows it to him, and he's like, oh, "Man, I don't want to see that shit, man." Like Come turns on. away. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> You'd be really funny if they got like one of the uh, Manning brothers on there. Yeah, they just got. Can you they, imagine Eli? They got the one that wasn't in the NFL. No, they, this is no, Chuck it, Manning. It, no, it's got to be it's got to be <clears throat> Peyton or Eli. Peyton, yeah. Like, can you imagine Eli Manning? Oh, uh, so what? The, wait, so that, that person's lying. Is that who they are? It's like yes, pa Eli. K keep up. Fucking, what are you talking about? Do you not understand the premise of the show? I'll just. Why would they lie? It's like that. That's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> Half the show is them explaining what the, the entire show time is he keeps signing footballs and like giving it to Do me. You want this He's football? just like, I don't want th this. Is valueless. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> I was a Super Bowl. I wish MVP. your brother Peyton could have been here because at least I know you could do a fucking Burger King commercial, you Neanderthal. <laughs> did you ever hear about you fucking ape man? Did you ever hear about Peyton Manning getting canceled? What he did? Like Peyton Manning? I bet, I bet he fucking finger fucked a girl in like no. a Taco Bell bathroom. He was, he was, uh, when he went to Tennessee, he was the quarterback there, obviously. And he was Titans? Uh, no, no, Tennessee, uh, University of Tennessee. Oh. When he was in college. You and pay, you're saying Peyton Manning, though. Peyton Manning, okay. yeah. And he was getting his like ankle wrapped or something. And it was a female athletic trainer. And I guess he just pulled his dick out and started mushroom stamping her. And it was like like 20 <laughs> years later, they were like, this yeah. athletic trainer from University of Tennessee comes out against Peyton Manning. And like nothing happened. <laughs> They're like, Peyton wouldn't do that. He's a good guy. He's in the nationwide commercials. While he's doing that, he's like mushroom stamping. <laughs> the director. <laughs> the director. Neve on the yeah, just on the yeah. Neve's like, stop it, Peyton. Stop it, Peyton. He's like, I've won two Super Bowl rings. <laughs> like the, the Manning brothers just seem retarded to me. Yeah, they're also like, ne like it's so weird whenever you see like people <clears throat> in professional sports because you forget how actually large they are. Mm -hmm. That's always something that freaks me out. I yeah. was in uh, I was in Kansas City one time, um, right after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl the first time with uh, Mahomes, mm -hmm. and we were in this. Uh, 
in Westport, which is like a downtown area, there's a like a really nice like hip breakfast spot called Corner Restaurant, and the entire like half of the <clears throat> Kansas City Chiefs were in there. And someone's like, "Oh my god, there's Travis Kelsey down there!" And I like mm. looked and I like I saw my buddy who does stand up in Kansas City, like over in that area. And I was like, "Oh fuck, it's my buddy." So I went to go over there and like Travis Kelsey stood up and I was like, "My god, like holy fuck, like this is a giant yeah. man." It's crazy. Mm. Because on TV, they look so small. So, oh, wow. so, so tiny. Yeah, even if you go to an NFL game and you sit sort of close to the field, it's very uh, surreal. It's weird. The whole time, you just keep leaning on your mm-hmm. buddy. I could take him. <laughs> I could have made it to the league if I didn't blow out my knee. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, these, they... These uh, damn hammies. They I would always... My dad, <laughs> bad genetics. That's actually your story, Trevor. Do you, do you think you could have made it? No, I, there's not a shot in hell. I probably would have been cut from the team, in all honesty. I feel like you would need to be, like, probably two feet taller. Yeah, I would. I probably. Because what? What were you? Linebacker. I would have had to be like to just be competitive, like six three at the well, minimum. Let me put it this way: When you were a retarded eighteen year old, did you think that one hundred percent? I was like, "Go to the fucking league, baby." Yeah, you you do your first set of uh, like a bench press with two plates. So you're just like, "I am indestructible." <laughs> well, it was even just twenty five. You're like, "Oh God!" <laughs> even just the difference between like being 18 and then the people on the team that were like 22 you're like oh that's a, a man i'm a baby i'm a baby <laughs> boy that it was, is crazy you know. it's crazy when you see like a 19 year old in the nfl or something like that or yeah like, and they're just fucking ripped and they're like the fastest fucking person alive and- there's a fucking kid in college football right now that's like 17 i think and he's just <laughs> destroying fully grown adults and you're like that guy is he gonna age so when he's like 40 you think he's 90 just because My he's hope. 17, he's he's acting like he's a 30 year old right now. In Kansas City, they had a they had a what was his name Trent Green. Yeah, mm. he was the we called him Captain Concussion in Kansas City because <laughs> like every other game he got a fucking concussion and like he was retired from like maybe five years and he would still do events like mm-hmm. public like charity stuff in Kansas City and when I was younger I went to one and he was just like it was like talking to a wall. Yeah. Hey, I, I how, was it fun being a quarterback? <laughs> How's your day? <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> okay. He's like, can I sign your football? And he like went to sign my football and he signed my hand. There we go. Okay. So I had one of those tiny footballs. <clears throat> and he just signed oh. my hand. He's like, he's like, don't go throwing that. <laughs> I, was like, I better not see this on eBay Mommy, later. Trick Green scares me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the set. There's all these videos of like former football players or like boxers, especially. And they're like, he won 70 fights and he lost one. He was the greatest boxer of all time. And then it's like, now he's 50 and it's just him just sitting in a chair and he has like insane Parkinson's and he just doesn't know where he is and he has a blanket over him. So you're talking about Muhammad Ali, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Literally Muhammad Ali in his later half of his life just looks like a scared child. Yeah. Just shaking. Like Tyson's like, you're the greatest of all time. You. I could never touch you if I was boxing against you. And he's just like. <laughs> Do you ever hear the story of Mike Tyson, how he tried to pay a zoo $10,000 to fight a gorilla? And the zoo was like, you will die. You cannot, <laughs> like, there's not, it's not a thing of like, man, maybe there's a shot. They're like, you're going to There's definitely get... a zoo in America. That would be like, oh, yeah. Right. He went to like a, a actual respectable Yeah, he probably, he, probably zoo. Went to, he probably went to an actual zoo where people are there for passion. If he went to like a fucking like one in the Midwest where it's like a Joe Exotic zoo. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. it, yeah. This guy wants to find a tiger? <laughs> like, <laughs> selling tickets and shit. Yeah, exactly. He gets mauled. <laughs> uh, Mike Tyson's, he's the greatest, like, one of the greatest boxers, but then also just one of the most entertaining people to hear about stuff he's doing. A oh, fuck you till you love me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Word. F word. F word. F slur. We do not condone Mike Tyson on the podcast, although he is very I do. I can, entertaining. I condone anyone with a face tattoo on this podcast. And we love him. <laughs> Mike Tyson, Lil Xan, the two people <laughs> who, I love in life. Who is more respected amongst human <laughs> beings in general? I would say Lil Xan. Yeah, that's probably they true. They go, thank you, they <laughs> go, thank you. God, yeah. you know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah, I have no idea. He just lo- he's lost. In Maybe this. one of those. Let me tell you an iconic one of, one line. One of those weird twin guys you see on. Oh, you're talking about the Island Boys. No, those yeah. Island Boys. Oh. Those guys. They, are great. They, each have their own, they each have their own. Those, those, stupid those are names. Those are yeah. P, those are POC little Zans. Okay. I thought they were white, and they yeah, were pretending to be like. I thought that, I yeah, I thought, I thought it was like an Ariana Grande situation. Yeah, I thought they were just like retard. Is Ariana Grande not? She's white. She's like full on white. Yeah, she's really. White. She's white as yeah. fuck. She's Italian. How did she get the grande? I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, because she her she was on that. Ar- her name's fucking her. But her real name is just like Aspen Smith. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every woman I've ever met that's named Aspen has turned out to be a lesbian. Huh. Yeah, she. Uh, Why do you think that snowy town has such a <laughs> weird effect on little girls? <laughs> we named you after a town where they play movies all the time. Aspen. I'm a lesbian now, and mother. Then also, if you want to, you can go skiing. Yeah, the two things that. you can do: you can watch a movie festival and you can go skiing. What movie festival? I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaking it with That's Park <clears> City. I think. You well, there's Park of. City and yeah, then the, the whole ass tell rides. It's literally skiing. just like skiing town. Yeah. Uh, what? A, well, whatever. Who cares? It's all. I the same mean, there's me. probably a movie theater there. I would bet there's probably a movie theater now in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> the only movie theater is in Park City where it's the Sundance. Do you get to watch? It, okay, so it's on is Sundance in Park City. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I for some reason thought it was in Aspen, Colorado. It actually, I mean, it might be. I don't know. I thought Park City is like the spot where they had the Olympics that one time. Yeah, yeah. And then they also, it's usually where like Sundance is at. Mm, all that kind of shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Because I thought it was in Utah. I'm pretty sure. Because hmm. Aspen's Colorado. That's a weird, you'd think like, yeah, you'd think that if they were going to have like a film festival where a bunch of people were coming, it wouldn't just be like, all right, come to Utah. What's well, it boring, fucking, It's a right? beautiful town. Yeah, but there's You've always like. Park City, haven't you? Yeah, we've got yeah. snowboarding there, but there's like all these liquor laws and stuff. And it's like. <clears throat> who cares? Mm. It's just rich shit. You know, all those rich people are just fucking. It's just like, hey, yeah, bring true. liquor to the after party. Or yeah. Whatever. I went to, I went and visited Clint when he lived in Utah and uh, Clint and Jesse. And um, when we were there, it was so jarring because like I'm from Vegas mm. and it's like you can go to a gas station and buy like tequila and can there's like slot machines here? and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it was so far different in Utah where they're like, you need to go to a state liquor, liquor store. store yeah. And I was like, what? Because we just have regular, like, you know, just regular liquor stores. And then they're open gap, for like, like six hours a day. Think yeah. Three days a week or something. And the fucking cop in there was like, he, there was a cop stationed at the door. And you walked in and he was just like eyeballing you. It was like he wanted to shoot everyone coming into that <laughs> no, store. It's, it's the eyes. It's the Mormon eyes of judgment is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Except those liquor stores are fucking like always packed. Yeah. It's always like weird construction dudes carrying like handles of like fucking ever clear like <laughs> smearing off vodka. Yeah. With those plastic handles. We yeah. bought uh, Bud Light Strawberitas. And, That's uh, a mistake. Yeah. <clears throat> it was awful. Mm. Yeah, but that, I mean, it was just so like I was just so far removed from something like that where they're like, we need to drive thirty minutes outside the city to go to a state liquor store that's like off the highway. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that. It's weird. It's so odd. Liquor stores. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because because you can buy pretty, you can buy like anything in a grocery store. You can just buy like full magnums mm-hmm. of like uh, <clears throat> smear off, but Grey Goose and stuff like huge bottles in just, Nevada. Just, yeah, in just Vegas, just in like yeah. a they do that in yeah. grocery yeah. store, in Missouri too. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was always separate in Maryland then. It was weird. The first it, it, time, it, first time what, I went to California, I was like, wow, there's a liquor section. And then, yeah, mm-hmm. it wasn't until I moved to Utah where it was different. And then everywhere, literally, literally the only places I've been to are Nevada, California, and Missouri who have that kind of same shit. Mm-hmm. There mm-hmm. might be other surrounding areas. I think in Kansas it might be the same too, but I can't remember. Huh. I don't know. Odd. I just want to get drunk, and I don't want to have to go to a stupid fucking liquor store. Yeah. You know how convenient it is to be like, you're getting groceries, and you're like, oh, I feel like I want some rum. Or, oh, I feel like I want, you know, this or that. It's convenient as hell. It is technically or if I'm already dri- Or if I'm already driving incredibly intoxicated at, at extremely high speeds, and I have to get gas. Maybe I want to keep the buzz going. Mm-hmm. And get, I don't want to get tired while I'm driving drunk because yeah, that's what, dangerous. Oh, so if I if I start to stop getting drunk and I get the sleepy and spins, mm-hmm. that's when people die. Whose fault is that? State of Texas. <laughs> and I'm driving an F three fifty, and it's yeah. not going to be me. I'm going forty five <laughs> miles an hour in a fifteen. Yeah. I'm driving through school zones, reliving <laughs> old times, blasting kickstart my heart. The classic. Listen we I, I legitimately think like the last two times that Hunter and I have been trying to buy liquor. Speci- for like specific reasons, you know, we, you bought a house and you're like, I want to celebrate a little bit and get like bottles. It was a Sunday and we were yeah. both, we, we were both just didn't think of it. We drive all the way there and we're like, well, it looks kind of close. That's the, that's the same kind of play with Chick-fil-A too. Every time I've ever wanted Chick-fil-A, it's always on a Sunday. Sunday. Only time you always want. a Sunday. Man, a fucking chicken sandwich sounds good. And you're mm. like, fuck me. Right. But then once you want Chick-fil-A, it's like, good I'm people. not going to just go to Popeye's. It's going to be worse. No, well, no, I, I really am not a huge fried chicken person in general. Mm. Like Honestly, next I think like all those other like whenever there was that whole meme of like Paul oh, Popeye's chicken sandwiches, that yeah. shit sucked. Yeah, it's not. Just go good. to Chick Fil A. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Did you really? The yeah, Popeye's was, one? Yeah, it was so. It was better than Chick Fil A. No, 
Mm. But you know, what, what of, you of, of the other of the <laughs> other restaurants. Well, yeah, you're not gonna go to like McDonald's or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then every one of those fucking restaurants, like Burger King, would have a, a commercial on TV, and they're like, "We're in the fight now with the new Burger King flame whatever chicken sandwich." You know like, what? This I, is gonna I, be bad. I'll tell you what I liked when I was a kid that when I first came out with those with the chicken fries for Burger King. Oh yeah. Ugh. Those were such a, like, a stupid like ass mm-hmm. gimmick. No, no I, what's I, your favorite? I don't, I don't, even, I don't even remember liking like, them. I just remember it, it was made, like they the, made the me. <laughs> they made me ill. Like, they, they I feel made like a lot sick. of things make you ill. Like That's thinking true. about it made it's you true. sick, yeah. or you no, had like, them I, you I, got, so, uh, as a little. It was hey, as a little oh. kid <laughs> eating one. I feel like I feel like as a little kid, you're you're better put together. You can just stomach stuff. Well, yeah. Well, you're a new. Your body inevitably as you get older. Yeah, just stuff like breaks and doesn't. Really, I feel. I feel so the then, so then if you, if you well, keep if you huh. keep eating the chicken fries, then it's like mm. then you have problems. <laughs> the Later problem was you ate seventy five chicken fries and well, four gallons of honey mustard with them. No, I think I had like a, a little nibble. I, I would gag <laughs> on stuff. You know, I don't think. I, I just like, remember. Huh. It, I don't think it was like bad. I just remember it being like very underwhelming. But ever, mm. but I remember I was like. This stuff is cool because all my friends are like, "Oh, chicken fries are the best." It was. It felt like empty. I felt like I you you got like an entire chicken nugget over the space of like the whole length of the fry. Yeah, they just like took just chicken nugget gel. Chi- no, yeah, and yeah. That was a long time of thing, a very fries. classic <laughs> Burger King memory for me. As one time I went to see a, a concert when I, it was like maybe 2007 or 2008, mm-hmm. and uh, I went with a I went with a buddy a buddy of mine with his family. We was a big fat ginger kid, and my buddy Jeff. We I mean, were going to see Lincoln Park, but a tray was opening for him or whatever. It seems Which, odd. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. For a kid, I was just like, You're that's stopped. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we stopped by <laughs> this <laughs> Burger King and they're like, does anybody <laughs> want anything? And I was like, we're like, no, I'm fine. And then we called this fat ginger kid Biscuit because he was this big fat ginger kid. And he's like, I want this. And the mom was like, You're not going to get that. It's too much. And he's like, <laughs> like pounding. Uh, and then, like, his brother's like, yeah, I want the large this. And he's like, oh, he gets it, but not me. I mean, I, we were in, like, seventh grade. <laughs> way, way, too, way too old for that. And it just made me think about, like, how uncomfortable this being in the pouty thing. And the mom just kind of gave in and was like, fine, you can have this. And he was like, yay. <laughs> I hated I, I, going to a friend's house and they were mean to their parents. <clears throat> I hated listening to my friend's pout, which I wasn't mm. that good friends with Biscuit or anything. But it was just, like, one of those things where it was, like, I had been around people where it's, like, just really uncomfortable conversations where they're just like, I told you you can do this or whatever. And you can tell that like both parties are being composed mm-hmm. because, yeah. because mm-hmm. I'm like stand there with yeah. like a fudge sickle. So just like, like, we're going to talk about this later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you, you out of anyone I've ever met, and I, I, does this hold true for you too? You, you know, so many people with odd nicknames. Like he, everyone you grew Much up with, Southern thing. Yeah, you're just like, oh, this is my friend Biscuit, and then you call the girl Hoof, and then there was like, every boots. person that you know, yeah, boots. there's Boots. Yeah, it's just like, I don't think I had a single kid boots. in my school that they had a were. nickname that wasn't like related to their name. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, did you have a lot thinking, of nicknames? You didn't have a lot of nicknames. Did design. you have a nickname when you were growing up? Like when you were in school? Mm-mm. I like to imagine that you had a really <clears> embarrassing <throat> one. I bet like, you that. No. Was, maybe, was, maybe I had a nickname and they didn't tell me. Yeah, fucking Beans. Beans? Yeah, because you shit yourself. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're always, always running from that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sprinting as fast as I can away. <laughs> My dad was called Bubbles. Bubbles? Because he was like a fat guy with a huh. bubble stomach. This is not Trailer Park Boys related. But that was just... Oh, well, yeah, I assume. And My, My dad was My dad. My dad had... His boss was Cowboy, and then his foreman was Scooter. Yeah, it's got to be like a Mississippi... <clears throat> I think it's just white or trash Missouri thing, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. My dad was my dad was whitey, but uh, nice. I remember, I remember one time this kid was trying to like not bully me, but like just be a dick for some reason. Mm. And my last name is Clark, so he kept coming up to me. And he's like, "What time is it, Trevor Clock?" And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "What time?" That is doesn't Trevor, make sense. What though. time is it, Trevor it's Clock? Like and I was like, "Why are you calling me Trevor Clock?" And he's like, "Your last name's Clark. It's like Clock." And I remember just like in the moment, just being like, "You're a retard." And then the teacher was like, "Hey." You cannot say that. It's Catholic school. How old, how old were you? Like seventh grade. It's really, it was like I'm, way beyond. See, I feel, yeah, I feel like in kindergarten. That's, yeah. It's like a sick And Then I would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, hey, Trevor Clock. <laughs> just devastated. Fundamentally, I go, ex- existentially crying. breaking down. <laughs> Screaming, Am I right? a clock? Yeah. Like, and you just keep like hearing the ticking of the oh, clock in the, in the, on the wall. You're like. But I was at the age yeah, where literally my I'm going to be 12 day. o'clock forever. <laughs> yeah. 
I was I was at the age where and it, it probably would have stuck like everyone else would be like yeah claw and then <laughs> that's forever. what I mean yeah but I was at the age where Man, literally I was I was, all I I was Donald was Duck and Old McDonald for those are bad that I, I would know. I would be pissed if someone Donald called me Old would McDonald. piss me off probably mm-hmm. Old McDonald would be pretty shit too actually yeah, Old both McDonald's of those were bad. <laughs> yeah it was Old McDonald yeah, yeah that's fine. Fine. you're the same height as you are now <laughs> in kindergarten. <laughs> Stop it. I remember there, in our eighth grade, there was like a war between the two popular. There was like one big popular group of kids and then like everyone split up into sides. And then I just remember my current roommate in Vegas. Um, he's like my best friend. But uh, at the time he was on the other side. So we're like, yeah, oh, fuck you. And he had his just I don't know. He's he's white. But for some reason, his eyes are very like squinty. So people would be like, you're you're Asian to him all the time. And he hated it. And I remember this one kid, Bobby, was like, go up to him and like bump into his desk and be like, oh, sorry, noodles. Because he hates being called noodles. And I was like, this is fucking stupid. This, is, like, the whole, this whole like war that we're having is so dumb that it's escalating to the this point where I'm war. walking up to someone being like, hey, noodles. It was just fucking so, such stupid shit in eighth grade. <clears throat> and then you did it. Yeah, and then I did it and he beat the <laughs> shit out of me. He broke my jaw. No. <laughs> yeah, I was wired shut for two yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like thinking back on that shit. Also, the thing about the food that you were talking about, how it made you sick. The th- I I remember I would uh I begged my mom to buy the Shrek ketchup, the green ketchup. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, I I I think I've talked about my love of different colored ketchups. Well, yeah, I think purple yeah, on several green. occasions they the found a reason one. to sell a green ketchup. Mm-hmm. I think Shrek was just one of them. Well, the it was like $5 more expensive than the right. like $1 ketchup you could yeah. buy. And my mom, we, she was a single mom, and she mm-hmm. was like, fine, I'll buy the fucking ketchup. Because and I squirted it onto a plate, and immediately it was like, it looks like boogers, <laughs> and I just wouldn't eat it, and she was so angry with me. What does her being a single mom have to do with that? She just didn't have a lot of money. Like, oh. two boys, single mom, so she was like, I'll so buy the, the nice all the, ketchup. All the money she was getting from your dad. What happened to that? Drugs. Hmm. Yeah. She's go. dead now, so thank <laughs> you for bringing that up. She's dead. Speaking of dead people, we should probably talk about Betty White. I imagine that's that's been in the news. I saw like a while ago that people were like, it's trending again. Wait, what? I'm like, trending. That Betty White died. <clears throat> Didn't you say there was a push to make that day Betty White Day? But yes. It was, but it was MLK Day. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking MLK Day. There were day. people on Twitter that were like, we should Betty make January 17th. Because that's yeah, her let's, birthday. Yeah, let's make she January 17th. Yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> what did MLK ever do for us? Golden Girls, Golden Girls. MLK only lived to be like 55. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, because he was gunned he, down. No, natural causes. It was natural. No, natural causes. <laughs> not the FBI killing him. <laughs> yeah, I... um. I don't know. I just I always thought it was really dumb that pe- a lot of people on the internet were like, "Betty White's a national treasure." It's like you did no, not. No, watch no any nobody show gives a on. fuck. And the thing too yeah. is like, I, it's not even to discredit the woman for like how long she lived in her career because it's like super impressive or whatever. Yeah. But it's just like I hate this weird mentality of like it's going to be so crazy when people from our generation of like media mm. die. And you're going to be like, it's it, 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 all these people are probably going to be fucking like, well, let me say this. If somebody died that was prevalent now and it's like this, all, I, my life, no, yeah, you know, I hate that. it's these things where you're just like, you're fine. Like that, <laughs> yeah. you, you think that this things mean anything right now, but they don't. It's just fucking stupid. Well, no one was right. I mean, I think it's just because Betty White's been like. A, like a cringy, a hacky punchline yeah. character, you know what I mean? For 15 years, like the you know the old lady that lives forever. I, th- I think she was just like a meme. And a no, dumb. I think yeah. there's definitely a meme about it, but it's just this weird thing of like when people speak. It's funny to make jokes. Then mm. oh, that's funny. She, make jokes about she's dead. Like I mean, right. she's fucking dead. Who cares? But I guess the more about like when people are trying to like put her up on this pedestal of being a saint. Yeah, she's, like, she's what, literally like, unironically. Nothing. Like Where she just like, she just disappears mm, for years and then comes back idea. and she's like, I want to fuck Ryan Reynolds. Everyone's like, Oh, Betty White, say, You're like, what is why? Betty White? She's old. Her pussy. She's literally work. just a crazy old woman. Like, I'm gonna fuck Ryan Reynolds. And everyone's like, You're so you're so funny. And the thing too is like you can like like if I was I thought like you know the day that James Hetfield dies, I'll be devastated and I'll probably cry. Is that the biggest celebrity that you think if they died you'd be like actually that's probably the last one. Yeah. What about you? Who would be like a <clears throat> I, honestly, I can't think of one that would actually like really bum me out. Really? You know? hmm. yeah, what if Jordan so. Peterson died? 
Yeah, I guess. Who's going to tell me to clean yeah. my room? I don't know. I no. thought he died years ago. Yeah, Sorry. didn't he almost <clears throat> die? Because all he eats is red Have meat. Have you seen I his hair? His it looks like this, is this greasy fucking mess. I bought his second book, and I just read the forward today, and he, he, he spends like an entire... 20 pages just rambling about how he got addicted to benzos and the whole like yeah. the medically induced coma in moscow and stuff and how it wasn't his fault it was his daughter's fault but also actually his fault and yeah. what does, does he not have a good relationship <laughs> with his daughter now no no he, he he does he just jordan peterson god bless him respect him but in the forward in the forward he did do this weird obfuscation where it's like I woke up in Moscow and I didn't know where I was and I was I was livid that I was in Moscow. Why am I in Moscow? Why am I in Moscow, Michaela? Why'd you put this doesn't make any sense? Who would do that? Who would who would go in a medically induced coma in, in Moscow and the Russians, the communists? Who who would I'm mad. Yeah. And then he was like and then and then <laughs> I came and then I later came to find out that I, I sort of agreed with her that I was there, but I don't don't remember any of that. And I Yeah, he's all a those fucking pill addict. Like of course yeah. he doesn't remember how he got to how, Moscow. How the fuck Russia. did he get why did he get, it, it was just, why did he get hooked on pills? Was it just a high? No, he he has like a lifelong depression thing, obviously, but um his wife <laughs> obviously his, his wife his <laughs> wife had uh she, she she got like a rare malignant cancer that was like basically 100 percent you're gonna die in yeah. a year and that like oh, he's, that he's been married up? for like 50 years so yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh i mean i'm really you know and if i was in his shoes i'd get addicted to benzos too you yeah know? Of, right, understandable probably. yeah it's under i'm saying it's understandable he'd exonerated be addicted to, yeah. <laughs> good he man free and clear <laughs> free and clear he's got his brain back he's back and he's doing a podcast thank god mm-hmm what a good man so is mean, it there's no way he still call, like pulls in any kind of. I think he does a bit. Doesn't he's he just a, eat raw meat? He uh, he he did an episode like within a couple months ago with like Matthew McConaughey and stuff. Like yeah, but even Matthew McConaughey doesn't really. Well, pull yeah, much I, I guess. But you the know. future governor of Texas is he not pulling anyway. He pulled out. He's oh, not doing damn. it. Oh, did he? He's going back to the Sex in the City. <laughs> it's bullshit, it's Gary. Bullshit, no, Gary, no, Gary, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like. The, the the whole crusade of people it's done like i mean that like the 2015 era of those like right-leaning dudes or whatever or whatever philosophical things or it's it's gone yeah i can't think of a celebrity that i would care about like i would mm. there are celebrities where like, if they like actually i mean yeah yeah where i'd be like, to, my life is over funnily enough i, I would oh, yeah. be kind of bummed no, no, out none if jordan ever be peterson like, died but none of them would ever be like my life if jordan is peterson oh. died i'd yeah. actually be like a or like make like a <laughs> compilation or do something <laughs> yeah. to where you're like i had like i don't even know what i'm gonna do that hey guys i was gonna stream today but yeah exactly but with the passing of of david weird duchovny Al. Yeah, yeah, with the passing yeah. of fucking David Duchovny. Man, I got, you have a full Californication tattoo on your back. I got caught up in it was just like younger and stupider, but I, I got caught up in the uh, the mass hysterical sadness of Robin Williams dying and everyone oh, sh everyone sharing like that genie, genie picture, picture and You're stuff. free now, genie. Did you yeah, share like, the genie wow, picture? Wow, I think I'm like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's so you. Yeah, it's, hum <laughs> it's humiliating. You taught millions how to dream. Yeah, I was I was gonna there say was, earlier when you were talking about the chicken sandwich the thing, belt. though, right? Like the Popeye. Like I ate that. I felt wow, this is a really probably fucking because everybody good else sandwich. was saying. Yeah, that. that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh like, man, this, I find with doing with uh yeah well with not with hypnotism. I promise this is relevant. With hypnotism, it isn't like a magic thing that is cast over someone well, yeah it's all like fucking it's, social it's suggestibility yes. yeah, yeah. and i've never been hypnotized but i wonder i wonder if i would just be hypnotizable as fuck because some people aren't feel, and some people are but if you uh, tell me this sandwich is the best shit on earth and like 10 other people say so that's I'll, what, well that's what I'm my saying taste about buds will realign with, and yeah I'll, I'll feel like it's the best shit i ever ate which it with was food or music or anything like that it, with movies, sometimes even some people can like compel me into being like, "This is why this movie is good." It's, that's like, right. Oh. That's right. Yeah. It's or whatever. Sorry. But mostly, wow. it's, but mostly, it's like uh, anytime, any I can't ever have like a strong political stance because anytime someone talks passionate to me, passionately mm -hmm. about me, like or about the subject, or whatever, I'm always just like, I, "Yeah, I agree." Hunter, I'm going to call you <laughs> out. I, I agree. I'm going to call you out for what you just said. About which one? That is not true, because two of the biggest influences in his life, me and Jesse. Both said that Hubie Halloween is one of the funniest movies on earth. Okay, I want to make a record that you are not one of the biggest influences in my life. Okay. And that there's things of like, uh, I mean, if it's full blown fucking retard talk, like Hubie Halloween's a that good movie. That is not retard talk. It's a funny then movie. It already saying that Hubie Halloween, <coughs> like the name of it in general is just. What was that? Was that like it's Adam, Adam Sandler, it's Sandler one of his Halloween like, movie? $4 billion dollar yeah. Netflix deal. Netflix things, yeah, but he yeah, literally yeah. plays That's a retarded right. person. 
who carries the thermos around with like it's got like a grappling hook and shit in it and he's like saving this town from halloween or some bullshit like i, I think I, I think i bought into the spider-man hype it was a good movie. That, that was genuinely like a good movie. From I, the I don't know. I mean, like you, the thing, you guys wouldn't watch the new one. Yeah, yeah, I saw the new one. We both liked it. Yeah. It's well, not. But, we weren't but, clapping. But, but, and I mean, but that's just, that's the thing. Though, I I can't mouth. objectively sit back and look and be like, well, did I enjoy that movie for what it was, or that's was it something that's, where? That's what I mean, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah it's like one of those things of like, and then also it's like it's it's pulling all these like nostalgia strings and stuff and doing that, and that you have to step outside of it because you can't just be like, oh well, it's like. It's fun because of this and that. It's like if anything, if you have a budget over like two to five hundred million, you got. I mean, you got to. It has to be a good movie. I mean, like it's. Do you have like all these Filipino people working on it and like fucking Chinese, American, like all like all over the world? People Mm. are working on this movie. Mm. That's what I meant by that. Mm. So he's sitting there and he's like, (laughs) "They had the highest." I I, I can't list off everybody. I was was trying to get name every race that worked on No Way Home. Yeah. So he's sitting there and, but it's like I'm trying to look at it as like. Like a little more objectively, mm. because I mean it's a fun movie, but like that's a, with anything. Like I mean, it's just a popcorn movie, I and mean, you're supposed to sit down and just be like, oh, yeah, you know, that's that's fine, that's what Toby. it's supposed to be. But like in terms of like people being like, Bleep that spoiler, oh alert. my god, the oh my god, the story's so good. It's like I mm. now I mean like it's whatever. It's a fun visual movie to be around. I think Tom Holland, like everybody's a likable yeah character, good actors. But once again, five hundred fucking million dollars. Mm-hmm. You're gonna. You, I mean, you should get the most, the best people and stuff. So, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I buy it live though because I remember like the night that we were supposed to go. Did we see it that night somewhere? Yeah, we did. We went to we that shit theater. It, we saw it. I think it was like the opening weekend. We saw it Sunday night. Yeah, but I meant like we start. We stopped. We were going yeah. to go to this Alamo yeah. Draft House kind of theater, but it's like really small and they were all sold out. And we were like, "Well, where's another theater?" Because we were like just jazzed to see it. Yeah, and then we went to this other like really shitty movie theater, which was fine though. I mean, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. it was uh, had the worst graphic design, like fake posters I've ever seen oh, in my God. life. Remember those? It's all about the same artist, and it looked like freshman graphic design college work. It would be movies mm-hmm. like it was like The French Connection, and then like no, I don't know, oh, other, 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 other theater, yeah, like like movies, bad. movies, hmm. movies but that are very it, big, it, and it would be like minimalist design to where it's like Forrest uh, Gump, so it's okay. like a feather, yeah, with like a shrimp or mm-hmm. something, and you're like. And it's like Forrest Gump, and they have like a motivational quote or something. And then oh right God. next to it would be like Super Troopers. And you're like, what is this? Yeah, what is the, what are these movies that the guy? Yeah, or whatever. So this, <clears throat> yeah. She was stupid. As a uh, lifelong hardcore PlayStation gamer, how do you feel about Tom Holland in Uncharted? It's a long time. Oh, because I have a PlayStation. Yeah, because you're you're a PlayStation guy. God. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I'm not going to see that movie. It looks fucking stupid. Mm. I mm. think all those video game movies, like the same time, I remember, I remember legitimately having a friend be like, are you, are you going to see Prince from Prince for Persia when it comes out or Prince of Persia when mm. it comes out? And I'm like, no, no, because it's racist. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, exactly. And I said, that was Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. You don't remember that? That's awesome. Yeah. No, Jake yeah. I think Gyllenhaal it was a Disney that. movie. Too. I had no interest because I, I was yeah. an Xbox guy and I hated mm. PlayStation. You, mm. you were waiting for a Ninja Gaiden movie. Mm. I was. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for <laughs> when is there gonna be a Ninja which Gaiden Halo movie? movie gonna come out, please? <laughs> no, literally, Neil Blomkamp, Blomkamp, isn't that Blomkamp. the guy who did um, District Nine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Netflix just put that. It's like called Oat Studios. Did you see the ads for that and stuff? Oat it's, Studios. I guess he's mm-hmm. he's eaten shit on so many movies in a row that he just went away and made a bunch of like the, the amount to like really bad sci-fi movie pitches. Well, he had the... That he paid for himself. And he yeah, got like he, Sigourney Weaver and shit to be in the first one, but they're just terrible. He was in the Sigourney right place Weaver at the right Master time Chief. for District 9. And I still <laughs> I still think District 9 is an interesting premise for a movie and stuff. That's a fun oh, movie it was a great movie. But, yeah. but it, no, hit, it was a good it, movie. It hit around the same time when Paranormal Activity was really hot mm-hmm. and found footage had just kind of come back yeah. and was doing its thing. So it was like this blend of like, I think... It like appealed to more people. Well, I just think but this, then, like, the story and character, like it was a legitimately good no, movie. No, it was like, fun. Also, I like that yeah. like South African yeah, yeah. or New Zealand. Or Man, he Africa, just yeah. he just yeah. fucking disappeared too. Well, he was in Elysium after that. He was in a bunch of sci-fi. Well, that, that was Neil Blomkamp. Where all those yeah, that movie Blomkamp. sucked. Yeah, Elysium yeah, was sucked. Elysium. Was Matt that was the Matt Damon. Yeah, yeah. I thought but there was, was but there was one that was wasn't it Tom Cruise? No, it's Matt Damon. No, no, you're thinking of that. He did that stupid time. Yeah, well, it's every time he dies, he comes back or whatever. It's like live, die, repeat. Right. Yeah, but yeah, whatever that uh, fucking. It's based off a manga or something. But the Mm -hmm. uh, right. The last time I saw him was in that um, 
I didn't actually get to see it, but the hardcore Henry. She goes, Was he I never that? saw that either. I remember that guy yeah. on YouTube back in the day. Yeah, mm. I remember it being a YouTube series. Did Neil <clears throat> Blomkamp can't make Chappie? Yeah. Ugh, mm-hmm. God, that movie well, fucking well, that's, that's what I mean. He made District 9, and then I, I think he just kept trying to make District 9, but <laughs> yeah. terribly, you know. What yeah, if it's an alien? He, he, he was trying to hit the, just the that, same thing. Is that like gross, muddy aesthetic with like trash? Well, it's, it's the whole South mm-hmm. African kind of like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Disgusting trash people. <laughs> yeah, but it, 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 I mean, I think all of his movies are based in like... <clears throat> like South Africa, I'm pretty sure. Well, well yeah, he's South African, that, right? It's all that well, yeah, and that's there. like, yeah. it's just, uh, mm. it's just interesting. But like, yeah, District Nine was rad, man. I was stoked. The only the movie I'm stoked on right now is The Northman. My yeah. boy, my boy Robert Eagers is a is a mm. fucking is a perfect hitter right now. So I'm stoked to see what what he does with this. Especially, it doesn't look like really a horror thing at all or weird. It just looks like a fun revenge movie. So yeah, I'm stoked on that. I like that Tom like was it was stoked for it with the trailer and everything, but then he also had to get his own little dig in there where he's like, "This movie looks incredible. It looks so awesome. Here's the trailer for it. Everyone watch it." That spear catch and throw is kind of gay. <laughs> this movie's gonna be so cool. It's, it's like, one of those things so where accept it. it's one of those things where I'm hoping that like he's very. It's like that art house translation mm-hmm. to like what like what drive was. <clears throat> making like drive was very slow in its approach mm-hmm. but then like once it like hit the full gear mm-hmm. it was just like really violent like hyper violent and that like, was fun uh, just how you said full gear that was really cool what did i say full gear they really kicked oh, it into drive. fifth yeah. gear or, when they made drive oh, yeah i don't know why i said that but the uh but i'm hoping that it has that kind of like intensity but like in a tasteful way mm. throughout but like i don't mind some cheesy stupid shit especially if i'm watching like a viking movie mm-hmm. you know Catch the spear, throw it back, and kill some dude. That's, that's you know, sweet. Don't, don't yeah. make it every scene. Right. Don't make him like, inc- like you know, crazy all the time. Every like, spear totally. and arrow that comes at him, he just catches and spins and throws he, it back. Wants he, to hate stuff. He I agree. Fucking loved Hacksaw Ridge too. Don't what? And in, in, in that, you have Andrew Garfield like literally jump and kicking a grenade away like in midair, and it flies away. Isn't that movie about he's like a medic and he refuses to pick up a gun because <laughs> yeah, he's a Christian yeah. or something? Yeah. Wow, uh, Tom, Tom is all over that movie. Huh? Yeah. I think that he, I think that he figured out that it was by the guy that I that I like, who did the witch in the lighthouse, and he had to he had to <clears> get <throat> drag uh, a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever know anyone? Speaking of drive, did you ever know anyone who was like autistic enough to buy the scorpion jacket and like wear it? it? And and literally, <laughs> oh literally, li- literally, <laughs> literally in college, there was like That's at least really three cool. film students that had it, hundred percent. It's one of those things too. But where you know, like, I, I like, pumped the brakes. I didn't. You're like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't buy this. I feel like if you would have been my school, you would have. If you would have seen other people doing mm, it. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh yeah. No. No. Well, that's no. a different thing. If a lot of yeah. people are eating a sandwich, it's not like permanent. Yeah. But if everyone's wearing this, the same that's, shirt, that's, yeah. So I, I've got this. Well, I'm surprised you didn't do it. For, but I don't. Do it for I don't like doing Halloween. something. Lots of other people are doing. I'm surprised you didn't even get it for just for like because they had sold like cheap ones for like Halloween outfits and shit. Right. It's kind of a boring Halloween costume, though. Like, if you're going to have a it's costume, just a jacket. It's, like, it's like a cop out, like you're afraid to wear a costume, so I'm just going to wear this gay I think I just become from... lazy with it, and I just like the idea of like something simple. Mm. Yeah. You know? But if you, if you do that, you got to go, like, I don't know, like, like uh, just kind of like edgy, I think. Like, like uh, the guy from Falling Down. Didn't you were talking about the, that whole um, right wing wave that went through Joe Rogan? What was the name of the comedian guy with the beard? Gavin McGinnis. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he, he showed up dressed up like Michael Douglas from yeah, Falling Down. Falling Down. Like that's that's funny to me. I think. Yeah, but, it's funny. Yeah. But it, I I don't know. Like wearing the dress. Well, I think it's jacket. just like there's intention and there's like right. a lot of like, it's funny because of who he is. But if you're just like a mm-hmm. random art, then it's just like fuck off. The uh, I did have the thought. I, I <laughs> like stopped. Like a hundred thirty pound five six dude. And it's like yeah, he's, like, he's, like, yeah, he's like, look at me. I uh, got a special guy's face. <laughs> I got. I found the gloves too. <laughs> I finger, found little <laughs> fingerless gloves. He gets in his Prius. <laughs> and yeah, drives off, and on his little city bike and rides yeah. away. <laughs> I, uh, I did have fingerless gloves in college. Did you? You yeah. actually? Who I didn't. Are you? I didn't. <laughs> well, I, 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 I asked a lot. Who I do you think you are? I, I said that a lot. About question. Uh, I can't actually remember wearing them like out. I think I only wore them to drive, which in a way is when worse. I was. That's worse. When I was a kid, <laughs> that's so much worse. When I was a kid, well, then no I one could it. see me wearing them. Yeah, yeah, but you had them to yeah, like yeah. for yeah, a but then function. It's, then it's like you have them and you're using them and you're also ashamed of having them. Yeah, so definitely. Like hiding them and shit. Yeah, yeah. I used to have this box. What are those? Oh, my cat got a hold of these, so the figures are messed up. Go. I used to have a, this boss who he would wear a different. I'm pretty sure he owned like 150 different suits. 
and they were all like really cheap but <clears throat> he drove a miata and every day he would go out to his car and like you know take the top down and he's like it's time for me to leave everyone's name is rolando he's like it's time for me to leave everyone and everyone, everyone had to turn around and be like goodbye rolando have a good rest of your day fuck off rolando he'd be, yeah he'd be like pissy for the rest of the day and then <laughs> He would leave and you'd see him out there like struggling to get the top on his Miata down. And then you'd see him out there. He'd put a bowler hat on and then he'd put leather driving gloves on. <clears> good man. Driving gloves and a awesome. scarf. Good man. And he'd put his big ass white sunglasses on and you'd see him back his Miata up. And just, one time yeah. it crashed into the back of the van. It was like a production <laughs> van. He just crashed it. And you see him get out. And he's just like. <laughs> he's taking he's, ah, he's like he's take taking off, off his, yeah he's like taking off his little finger his little leather brown leather gloves and he's pulls them off and one of them he's just like. He yeah. has little gloves in his mouth, and everyone was just sitting there looking out there. And even like the gay guys we worked with, were like, what a fucking. Might need to believe that. That was yeah. hard. <laughs> it was very funny. I wore high tops too at that time. That's not. Through, that's not college. terrible. High yeah. top like Converse. I just. I'm, I'm very. No, I bet you. It's no, like, not high. No. Were, was it knee high <laughs> Converse? <laughs> no, we, we. Tom too. We had like Adidas. You know, like big moon basketball playing. Yeah, well, like tops. Supra. Oh, you yeah, wear yeah. basketball shoes? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? You had the drive jacket, fingerless gloves. I love it. Was, it, was because, top, like, it was because <laughs> I thought shoes. Dave Mustaine looked cool in them in the 80s. Yeah, the like, 80s high top ones. Yeah, but, the, but the, yeah, like that. That's what I mean. But you, you didn't have, were they white? Yeah, I had white ones. So Those the white, uh, like, 80s I had white ones top? with the Adidas, the red stripes on the side, yeah. Oh, yeah, black, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, but, okay. he, but even that, like, it, to be like a, a white kid walking around, and you know, it's not the. Well, you have to thing. have that look too. I it, did, it's a, I did it's not. a full look. No, you did because no. you wear like H and M shirts yeah. and stuff, so it'd be yeah. weird. I wasn't, I wasn't even wearing the skinny jeans with them either, so it was like shit. Like what fucking, complete the outfit? What was what hat were you wearing and what pants were you? I, wearing? I never wore hats. Actually, oh. well, oh, 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 odd. What started the hat wearing phase? <laughs> I can't remember. Are you losing your hair? No. Are you no. sensitive about know. the subject? Yeah, it was, it was just within the last uh, year. I think I started wearing hats. Well, you, oh, we you made that have... we made that Flash gets hat way back, and we had to promote it. That was and like twenty. I always thought hats looked stupid because I thought you had to wear them like this because I'm retarded. But then you can like cock it back like that. I was like, oh, that's pretty like, cool. Wait, if I cock it oh back, God, then wait. wow! I love how my forehead looks. Yeah, you uh, mm -hmm. you always had like fancy hair. Like you always did <laughs> your hair because in all in all the pictures and stuff. Yeah. What pants were you wearing? So you have. To, to recap, mm. you have buckle. You had the, Hol the Hollister so, pants where I had the, no, the cargo no. with the Drive scorpion no. jacket, fingerless gloves, and no. high tops, and then what pants? Yes. No. And and Morpheus sunglasses. <laughs> he had little tiny Morpheus sunglasses <laughs> that covered only half his eyes. I had way f I had I had I had bill. fake journey <laughs> just Adderalls. Fake Chinese <laughs> Ray Bans, Ray Bans, from my uncle. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Ray okay, so fake Chinese Ray Bans. Uh, Levi five twelve, I believe, kind of baggy jeans and like six pairs of hundred dollar Adidas high tops that I would cycle. He had boot cut jeans and mm. fucking Osiris no, high tops. No, not boot cut. <laughs> DVS big <laughs> slim the thick. That, that thong thick, is yeah. like that that fucking thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the pants are like not the, the pants. Enough. The pants was the miss. Like I I because because I was. I was like sort of fat in middle school, so mm. I was afraid of skinny jeans oh, then. Okay. And then I got skinny, but I was just so used to wearing like sort of baggy jeans mm -hmm. that I never tried uh, skinny jeans till like senior year of college. Hmm. So yeah, it was, it was like this one foot in, one foot out trying to be Dave Mustaine. So yeah, it was really stupid. Did you wear like the plaid shirts and shit then too? No. Like 90s era? Or no, I didn't, I didn't do any of that either. It was, it was literally just How the shoes. How are you trying to be Dave Mustaine? It was literally just, just the, the shoes. shoes. Just the shoes. Okay. I, saw, I saw a picture of him and Megadeth and wearing the shoes. I was Whoa. like, oh, those are cool. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. I remember I saw, uh, I think I... I think I tried. I just like the whole plaid thing because it's like in the mm -hmm. '90s. That's what everybody wore. I like you to see, imagine still you seem like that so guy. I, or like Dave Mustaine that always wore like the really big, thick blue and black checkered. I just plaid. like to imagine that you always you would just you saw like a ACDC uh, music video and you I were wish. like, I want to dress like Angus. You wore I a schoolboy outfit everywhere. Oh no! I, if anything, I wish I could have wore like the British Bobby hat, like Brian Johnson always uh, wore. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> I just want to see you in the schoolboy <clears throat> outfit. Can you imagine Hunter in the in the in the Angus schoolboy outfit? I look good in that my fat ass thighs, the thighs out straightening yeah. together. If you, <laughs> if if that you wore that every day, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I remember I, before I really knew, uh, like ACDC when I was a kid, my dad would always take us to basketball games and I guess ACDC played a big show at the arena of the college that was there. And I would, we, where we'd walk in would be like the staff. Cause the girl he was dating, her dad worked at the school. So he'd always mm. give us tickets, like press passes or whatever. And you'd walk in through this hallway that had all the acts of who played in there. And I would always see that picture cause it was like a big one and they signed it and everything. And even being in like sixth grade, I would just walk by and be like, why is that old bad way? Did it tidy show its dad? He's like, that's ACDC. They're a very famous fan. Is he fucks yeah. hard? <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. His name is Angus, like the kid from Three and a Half Men. In, in, Can- Half Men. in Kansas City, they like, if like every time somebody sells out the stadium or like, uh, or the arena mm-hmm. in Kansas City, which I think it might be different now, but it used to be called the Sprint Center. Uh, oh, yeah. It's because T Mobile bought Sprint. T Mobile. Um, mm-hmm. So it's like T Mobile Center or something. But the, uh, they would always have like banners of people who sold out this thing, and Garth Brooks had sold it out like seven times, like way more than anybody else. And like one time it was Little Wayne, <laughs> <laughs> seven time All Star Garth Brooks. It's like Metallica's up there, there, whatever. And then you just see like seven fucking Garth <laughs> Brooks things. What's the best concert you've ever been to? What do you think? <clears throat> do you, are you a concert? I've guy? taken Don to see Ghost. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be. I'm, cool. gonna, I'm gonna have him rage. Yeah. With me. We'll rage as much as you can with Ghost, but it'll be a good time. Man, I have to think about that. We saw the Big Four in England. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that'd cool. be fun. Especially, yeah. what, were you guys at like Sony Sphere or something like that? Is yeah, that Sony Sphere. Yeah, 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 that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Slayer was boring, I thought. But Metallica was awesome. Megadeth was awesome. Anthrax is pretty fun. I hate Anthrax. <laughs> the burning passion. I liked, you hate Scott Ian. Like, I, I liked them for a while. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah, for a little while I liked them. Um... Do you all like thrash metal? Wee! You're welcome. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you play three of your hit songs and fuck off? <laughs> that was right out of high school, of too. That was right when I graduated. And uh, mm. I didn't have sex till freshman year of college. Good to know, cool. So I, well, it, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's relevant. It's, it's relevant. I'm going to tell you. Uh, so I hadn't seen like boobies. Yeah, mm. in person. It adds like an adult. Whoa. Yeah. And I went Wait, to so see. you didn't even see like boobs in high school? <laughs> I, I didn't you see. You saw, you got like the full on everything all at once. Yeah. Oh, damn. Did you get your yeah. dick sucked at Sonic Sphere? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. But like I. A Belgium girl. But there's, there's, you know, there's the girls like on the, uh, the like they, they sit on, you know, like on the, on the guy's yeah. shoulders. Yeah. And, yeah, and then they go on the right Megatron. Right. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. Take take it off. Yeah. Take it. Take it off. You like leaning to this this like poor girl next to you. Like, are you gonna show your boobs? Did, Can I see your boobs? Did definitely like uh, really enthusiastically yeah. cheering with all the other you know lads yeah. at Sonosphere and yeah and it's and never g- getting like pissy the, when they the, didn't take it yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking yeah. They're never good tests either. It's always mm-hmm. like the trashiest girls to get up there. You're like, ugh, god. Except for Don, apparently, who's like, <clears throat> Whoa, that's what they look like. We in person. Yeah. <laughs> Take out a sketchbook real quick. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Is that what, did you meet Tom in person for the first time? There? <clears throat> no, we had met before that. Uh, uh, I think they met yeah. when they were like 15. Mm. Person, did right? he come to the U.S. or did you go to England? <clears throat> we met, yeah, it was 15 or 16. He came to the U.S. the first time. Uh-huh. And then I think he came the next year. And then I went, uh. Yeah, after I graduated. Almost 15 years person. being friends with this person. That's a pretty long mm-hmm. time, man. No, over, 15. over no, 15. I guess no, I guess it is 15 now. Yeah. Met him over 14, New Grounds. Mm-hmm. Did pretty he crazy. come out to America like just to hang out with you? Mm-hmm. Damn, that's, mm-hmm. yeah. that's impressive. Yeah, he came for like a week. I feel like summer. if I told my parents like, hey, I met this, I met another 15-year-old mm-hmm. boy online. He wants me to fly to Europe and hang out with him for a month. My mom would be like, you are going to get <laughs> raped. And you're going to be sex trafficked. <laughs> But apparently Tom's parents don't love him that much. So. No, I mean, they, 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 I think that conversation literally happened. But there was like, are you the, sure uh, you're not going to get yeah, kidnapped yeah. and raped so a bunch they, of times? Well, we did a, uh, a video call or whatever. Mm, yeah. you know, so. Hi. Yeah. Hi, I'm definitely Hello, not. I'm Don's I'm, dad. <laughs> How are you I wanna, doing? You're gonna, your boy's going to stay with me and I'm going to make him flapjacks. I'm going to make him shoot a gun. I'm going to make him shoot a gun. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to make him decide to put the gun to my son's head or my wife's <laughs> pull the trigger. <laughs> It's like, all right, we, cool. We'll send him over. Yeah, we don't let DJ play with the gun. We don't. I don't yeah, I'm buy not, him not, one. Mm. No. I've no. noticed how Americanized Tom has been getting, just because when it was Christmas time and he was video chatting with his parents, his mm. his dad was like, he asked what his dad wanted for Christmas or something, and they're like, just put fifty pounds in our account. And Tom's like, how much is that in U.S. dollars? And then also they were like, we sent you four kilograms of cheese. <clears throat> Tom's like, how many? How many? 
American pounds is that, Dad? And he's like, yes. I, I don't know. I live in England. Finally. Yeah. He's becoming a full-blooded, red-blooded American. <clears throat> White to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tom's, yeah, he's just always said annoying things like, we invented the language. I, uh, we, we say it this way. Yeah. You yeah. don't spell color with a U. And you, yeah, and it, it's aluminum, actually. Yeah. And then I know, fucking the hate that one more than anything when people are like, aluminum, because it's like, not you're pronouncing it how it's not spelled. So now you're just fucking it up. It's <laughs> aluminum. Fuck you, Europe. <coughs> I just don't even have the fight for any of it. I just hate <clears throat> that I sound retarded. Tin foil. Yeah, exactly. Crown. <laughs> I gave my kids some crowns. <laughs> crowns. Except I do say crayon. How do you, I, how do you say crayon? Crayon. Yeah, so I say crayon. Crayon? Yeah. yeah. Crayon. Like, like, like you, crayon. you say something that I notice and I think K-R-A-N. a lot of people notice is, is the word greasy. Yeah, uh, greasy. Greasy. Mm. He's got his fucking mm. greasy hair. Yeah, it's dirty. Yeah, yeah. You say greasy. And it, it makes it sound more yeah. dirty. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's a yeah, great it's way good. of saying it. It's good. It's greasy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how do you, what do you put on your pancakes? Syrup. Yeah, syrup. Syrup? Right. What's the other yeah. one? Syrup? Syrup. Uh, it's, dis- syrup. Yeah, it's disgusting. Uh, it's like, syrup. It gives me like a little micro headache uh, to hear it. I, say, yeah, just I like, say caramel. I have noticed that I don't say one or the other. I used to say, occasionally I used to I'll say, say caramel, both. but I start. I just like saying caramel too much. I, I say both. Yeah, caramel. It's I think caramel's gross. My, yeah, my dad says, same thing. okay, so like what if, what if in like a nightstand, you know, the thing that you pull out? Yeah. What do you call that? <laughs> drawer. Yeah, drawer. Yeah, my dad, because drawer. it's from the South, says well, it's draw. Spe- it's spelled drawer. No, he fair. says draw. He can't uh, say the ER part of it, and draw. I always hear him. He's like, just put the clothes in the draw. I'm like, what? Mm. Yeah, drawer. Yeah, the weird one. Mm. But it's because he's a backwater New Orleans hillbilly. So. Ooh, got that Cajun flair there. Oh, nah. <laughs> this shrimp jumble. Yeah, we're going to put that in the pool, boy. Then you meet my dad, and he's just like, you want to go golfing? I'm like, yep. Ooh, daddy, you want to go golfing down there? There's a sweet day. It's kind of humid out here today now. The story of why my dad's called Whitey is because his middle name is Wartell. And then... That's a fun nickname. Yeah, it's like a it's like a family name, but then his his mom Clifford Whitey Ruffles. Yeah, his his man his uh gram or his mom called him Wardy. <clears throat> so his nickname was Wardy, and then he moved out here to work in casinos, and people are like, "What's your name?" He's like Waddy. <laughs> so then people thought he was saying Waddy. Whitey. So for like twenty years in the casino business, he, everyone thought his name was Whitey. Okay, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah, yeah, just, like, I, when, you, yeah, when you said that, I just figured he worked with like a bunch of black guys, and they called him Whitey. <laughs> hey, Whitey. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, nothing. Hey, nothing. No, that that Come cool. on, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. Well, that's like our, that's like our friend. I can't call uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God. Tom's not here. <laughs> Easy. Well, um, yeah, that's like our friend Zach. Whenever we talk to him, he's always like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm a butcher in Kansas City, and like everyone I work with is a black guy, and they're like super racist to me." And we're all just like, "You can't be racist to white people because you're in the position of power there." And he's like, <clears> "Oh, <throat> geez, driving a fucking moped to work every day." Oh no, your buddy's a butcher in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's Jesse's friend, Zach. They went to high school together. I don't think about it now. He is probably not. Hmm. I know everybody from Kansas City. Yeah, I'm from yeah. there, so I know all of them. All 40 million people that live in Kansas City metropolitan. Every area. person that you could ever hate lives in Kansas City. So that's not true. It's not. Adolf Hitler didn't live in Kansas City, and I hate him. Oh, you do? You say a lot of weird things as soon as the cameras are off. So <laughs> yeah, thought, you thought you're a fan. That's weird. You have a lot of posters up here. <laughs> yeah. that say different. Weren't you just reading Mein Kampf on the way here while you were driving? I think I was. I think I was watching Secession. They had a funny bit about that. Where about Hitler? Yeah, or like he's like a Nazi and stuff. And like, <clears throat> it's like where they're like they, they can't just full fledged ask if you're a Nazi in the interview process. Mm. He's just like he's like. So do you are you a big World War II buff? He's like, oh yeah, yep. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. I saw Mein Kampf on your desk. He's like, are you read through that? Yeah. And he's like, at first he's like, yeah, I'm just interested in that mm-hmm. part of history. And he's like, a lot of. Uh, a lot of lives lost, yet people fighting for what they believe in. <laughs> like, you can't get like an answer out of them. It's pretty good. I that was a show that I was being a contrarian or whatever about, and being like, I'm not going to watch it because everyone says it's so good. I was like, I'm just not interested. And then I'm really glad that you just put it on. That one day we started watching. Yeah, I don't know it. It why I decided to put it on. I just I watched all three seasons though. So like <laughs> literally, <laughs> in just, three it days. was on all day. Long. Yeah, I was just watch. I just watched it. <laughs> I was like, I'm on break. And I just sat there and watched. I mean, like each episode's an hour. It's like 30 hours. of. I was, it was when I was editing podcasts, too. I would like go in the room and I would uh, he'd be on the couch. Yeah. In, in a spot on the couch <laughs> with like a Coke Zero, just 
drinking it, like eating some snack or something. I'd go in and edit for like seven hours straight. And I'd come out of my room like, oh, my fucking brain hurts. And he's literally in the same spot. <laughs> same spot. He's like, I think I'm on season three now. He's like, you were on season one when I went into the room. It's a good man. That's right. Powered through. You're doing that with Catfish, too. Oh, was, yeah. Catfish well, I started on, on Catfish. I was like, God, I haven't heard of Catfish in a while. And I looked at it, and season seven of that show, there's eight seasons on, seasons on Hulu. Season seven has 41 episodes. Mm. And I thought, how? <laughs> how is yeah. that possible? And I just started from there, and yeah, it's like it's just it's literally just trash TV. It's, 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 it's just it's, what, a, what a pitch. Like, yeah, Neve, we'll take your show and... Well, get, well, it's uh, the perfect thing. Hey, there's desperate uh, fucking idiots all over the place. Look at Jim Carrey's daughter. Yeah, he's taking them when we, we get, get big Kalula enough. Willis. When we get big enough, we'll get Jim Carrey's daughter on his show. Yeah. Like, exactly you, you, you pivoted that accent pretty well to a South African at the end there. <laughs> yeah, it was originally. He pivoted it was, all the way. Yeah, yeah it was. It was, uh, it was, it was <laughs> you very met this girl on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if they got like an African warlord instead of me? That'd be awesome. I would love that. Can if you, you keep if you keep messing with her? That's why I, I was saying this earlier. I wish that the show was hosted by Dana White. The UFC. Yeah, yeah, you know funny that'd be. He's like just going, he's going there. He's just like, so did you send the pussy pics or what? Like, let me see him. Yeah. Let me they, see him. They ask that a lot. They they like that's what yeah. they say a lot that time. Mm. They're like, let me see your messages. And they always like, oh, a lot of sex stuff in here. And you're like, yeah. why would you like mm, such a weird? And yeah, look yeah, at it. And it's supposed show the camera. It's supposed to be something cute where they're like, ha, ha, ha. But I'm like, I'd be like, don't look at me like. Yeah, don't look at my dick. My, my terrible dick and my, like, sex talk. Also, there's a huge chance, knowing that I'm on this show, that it's I have been sending this to a guy and my life is like, <laughs> I'm devastated. Yeah, and, th and, that's and now you're also showing my that's dick happened to MTV. Before. It was like a, this 4chan guy, and he's like, he's like, I just stand this this, like, local casino thing, and he's like. He's like, I just stay up here. I have an algorithm, you see, and I stand up here, and I know which ones are going to win. I, I get $60, and I go home for the day. He's like, I was just doing it for fun. Mm -hmm. He's like, it was just funny. And he's like, well, what did you think of my dick pic? He's like, honestly, I looked at it for a second and I deleted it. He's like, I just, he's like, I'm the king of catfish and stuff like that. It was like really cringy. God. And like the guy was like, okay, I have to leave. What the Dumb. brother? Yeah, the, yeah, the puts white his camera down. brother. Yeah, he mm -hmm. puts his camera down. What happened to Neve's original catfish? No one ever talks about her. She's probably dead. That's she killed herself. Yeah. She probably fucking put a fucking gun in her mouth and killed herself. She's like, I... She she actually pitched Catfish. She's like, okay, I'm sorry, but what we can have a working relationship. He's like, no, I'm going to do this with my white-haired brother. You <laughs> should go kill yourself. Remember that time when I sent you, like, <laughs> dick pics and, like, pictures of my asshole and me, like, like fucking jacking off? You made me off. spread my ass on And camera. now, like, I show up and you're not even hot? <laughs> <laughs> you know how pissed off I am? <laughs> Are there any episodes? You know how pissed off I am that I show up to your house... I've I've had pictures and videos with cum all over my hand and my my <laughs> belly and my legs and you're not even hot. Instead, you're an old gross woman with retarded children. If that if that's how the movie would have ended, I like honestly probably be top ten for me. <laughs> top ten film. Can you imagine <clears throat> you just berating this woman, smashing her stuff, this poor yeah, woman so who's like this, this poor woman, which it's like. <laughs> Just trying to find an outlet from like a situation where she's like, I'm trapped in this. I'm not happy with my life or whatever. And he's just like, yeah, you got these retard kids. He like rolls them into a fucking yeah. wall. <laughs> and he's sitting there and he's just like, you're gross. And I think, I mean, honestly, I hate you. And I'm calling the cops. Is that is it illegal to catfish? I mean, obviously, if you like are like no, send I me th money. I think it's <clears> a, just <throat> catfishing. If you, if you blackmail somebody. Yeah. So there, there, there's that episode where she blackmailed this guy. Actually, a basketball player, Birdman. Mm. Wait, what? Birdman? Like Chris, yeah. whatever? Chris Anderson or whatever. His she name thought is. that she was talking to Birdman? That she was, but there was like a, there was a, uh, like a messenger in between who had created a fake Birdman account and created a fake the other girl account. Oh. So they were actually talking to each other and the, like the people actually just went up, through but like she a, like oh. took, sent, she took the pics of the girl and put it online. And that's why Birdman got that whole sexual assault thing for child what? porn or whatever but she blackmailed the birdman guy oh, damn and other things so the woman went to jail for like two years was there ever an episode from what you've seen so far where it's like the person that was getting catfished thought it was someone obviously it wasn't them but the person who was doing the catfish was like pretty hot and they were like oh you can make this work they've never been hot but there has been a couple of times where it's like they're not who they say they are but the people still End up together. There was a sweet one when you were on the phone where the guy was being catfished by this girl. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> he was being catfished by this girl and it turned out to be his friend's little sister. And she's like, I've always had a crush on you. And he was just like, 
I, I always thought of you as my sister, but if I'm willing to give it a try, and I'm just imagining like from the what brother, weird the sentence. brother from the, the other perspective is just like, hey, this is my sister. Don't <laughs> also, fuck my it's, sister. It's just weird about being like, you know, I've always thought of you as a sister, but I could probably fuck you. Yeah, he was like, like, ever that, since that, I that, met that, your brother, he's been my best friend, and we've all been like a family. But you know, I just never tried to do anything with you because I always viewed you kind of like my sister. But I'm willing to give it a shot. But if you're Pornhub willing. has made it feel okay yeah. to yeah. Like fuck relatives. Yeah, uh, we're, this episode is sponsored by NoFap. Reddit r slash NoFap. Today's video is also sponsored by Bad Dragon. Do you like fantasy dildos? Sure you do. I like to plant them to my shower wall and ride them vigorously to get a good start to my day. I personally can't get up without it. Folgers, move on over. Bad Dragon's here to stay. <coughs> I like the ones. <laughs> I like. I like the ones. Don likes to inside the dog muzzle no, one. It's his I favorite. Cause he I does. He loves it very a, much. I have a dog. Such so a I, wide selection. I could never... Such high quality. Bad Dragon is here to satisfy every kind of sexual fantasy you've ever had with reliable quality products. Personally, Personally I'm a fan, fan of, of the, the Sugar, Sugar Star. Star. You use that too? I hear Don uses the one that looks like a dog's mouth. So weird. And also, if you're on the smaller side, like my co-hosts, they have products that you can attach to yourself to give yourself magical fantasy enhancements. It's the only way my wife can get off. You can put a horse stick on your dick. That's my favorite. I don't know. They're awesome. They make good shit. If you're interested in getting a dildo or any kind of sexual product, whether it be a gift or for yourself, be sure to check them out. They make good shit. Thank you, Bad Dragon. Love you. It gives you superpowers. Does it? Apparently. <clears throat> I don't know how to find it. I, I know so many people who know how to get good shit off 4chan and get good shit off Reddit. I have no idea how to navigate those waters. Or if you want Reddit? to, feel free to both. Four chan's way harder than Reddit. <clears throat> that's I that's an old thing too. No fab. Is that still going around? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. No? My friend, I had a coworker at the hotel that I worked at in Vegas, and his former, like, I don't know, high school buddy or something, wrote a book about it. And in the book, he was literally mm. like, "If you don't jerk off for thirty days, you, you can, can tell you can bars. levitate." <laughs> and he writes shit like that. And my buddy was like, I bought the book and he brought it in. And we were reading it. And it was just this in these insane ramblings. Do you know if it's true? I can't mm -hmm. go more than like 45 minutes without touching my balls. I've already so. came twice during this podcast. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't. Yeah. What I do is I take my fat thighs. I, I, while, mm -hmm. while you guys are talking on the cameras, I, I spit down there and I just rub my thighs. <laughs> kind like of kind of fuck your. Yeah, your I meat fuck game. my thighs. Yeah, you just yeah, you yeah. just um, bolted the flashlight under mm -hmm. the table. The uh, one that Tom got you. I'm sure Tom got me a flashlight for my birthday. You are <laughs> a, a porn like a porn star flashlight. A mm -hmm. black it has woman, her signature on it. Yeah, yeah. A black woman porn star, and he also bought him a, a mm -hmm. warmer. The warmer. Yeah, and the, yeah, the yeah. flashlight pussy warmer. Nice. Allison kept asking to see it, and she was like fingering it and making it. Just it makes fart. It really funny. Like queefs actually. It's just laughing. It's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. It's great. Well, have you fucked it yet? No. Are you ever? Do you think you ever will? I don't know, man. I doubt it. Mm. Like it one day like you're in your wrong. office working. I don't know, I've, mm. it yeah, it wrong. feels so much worse than if you were just jerking off. I don't know why, but it was like I would not. I don't think I'd be able. Well, to Well, you've like, done it. No, I'm just saying I don't think I'd be able to like. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like thing. it feels bad. Like yeah, you, you, I'm sure it feels yeah, great. Yeah, I'm sure it's like a million saying. times better than jerking off. I'll have to. But, I, I I need to test it out because I, I I I need to test it out and let people the world know. You go in your room and lock the door. Spend a bunch of money on it too. You know, I don't give a fuck about that. Let them burn as I don't give a shit. But what I mean is, I guess like. If, if if it's something where if it feels natural one day and it feels like it's you know it's this a, a social experiment then I will do it. You're gonna be and also just if I you know <laughs> if I'm if I'm tired of hawking fat loogies in my hand and beating my cock I'll hawk a loogie in the fucking flashlight. You're gonna be animating it. one day and just burnt out it's like twelve hours <sighs> of animating. Lean back in your chair and you look up and you see that big just big black eye staring at you. It's like the eye of Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> all nice and warmed up oh. yeah <laughs> and you're just gonna get up and take it and lock your door Fuck <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. it's like the mouth of sar <laughs> you think they make a they, sh they should make a mouth of sar what does he say no in the movie he says look at it i'd look over at it and the, the lid would be like rolling off of it like slightly mm -hmm. I'd see just the pussy lips there, and it's just like, I see you. <laughs> Isn't that what he says to Frodo in the part? Mm -hmm. I see you. <laughs> he was talking about in the extended cut, the guy that comes out with oh, the, the weird actual mouth, mouth of Sarah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. that just has the teeth and the yeah. spit. They should make a yeah, mouth. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. I wish I would have put cool. that in the original movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
It's kind of I, I watched it recently and it still holds up. But yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's really awesome. it's yeah, really silly awesome. how they that, it, like it's literally just footage of a mouth that they blew up inside the frame of his helmet. So it's got like this weird like disconnectedness to yeah. The, yeah. Is that what they did? I, think I guess so, I never yeah. really like looked at it. I never closely. realized until I watched. I was it wondering recently. if it was like super finalized. Right. Or if it was just someone they're like, this is in the extended cut, but it's not something that's mm. like actually right. final. <laughs> right. But I love that design. It's sweet. Yeah. Also, I love the behind the scenes of that movie because of the uh, the Witch King's malice. Mm-hmm. Or, is that what it's called? Malice? Mm. Mace. Uh, or it's a, mace. Yeah. It's a flail. Or a flail. flail. I guess it's a, it turns into a flail. It's a mace and then it like drops. His, his weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. fucking giant thing. His lightsaber. And each time they came in and Peter Jackson was like, it has to be like way fucking bigger. And like yeah. the people in the props department were like, this looks so goofy. <laughs> and they're like flaying around. They're like, hoo, hoo, hoo. And Peter Jackson's like bigger. And they're like, oh my God. So they made, like, they went through like, these versions in the way you see in the film awesome. where it's fucking massive. And they're yeah. like, yeah, it looked awesome. It's funny watching those because he's, you can tell that he's just like such a dweeb and, and like a I fan. Oh, yeah, I love him too. But he's, yeah. he's like a dweeb and a, a super fan of the actors. And you see him trying to interact with like these massive stars like Ian McKellen as Gandalf and stuff or like, uh, Aragorn, you know. I feel like by the last movie, they were pro- he was probably like fine. Was that? Well, but the, they shot no. The they shot all three before you, we ever saw any of them, though. I think. Yeah. So they looked. They all. They looked shot the same. for like two years straight, yeah. and they just shot all the movies. Man, what, what a fucking. <clears> but there was also burnout. that Holy thing shit. too that came out it was like a deleted or behind the scenes thing too, where it was like Frodo's last shot, mm-hmm. and uh, he just kept saying like "cut, do it again." Like, like uh, 15 yeah, times yeah. Yeah. and then eventually it was like everyone started to realize that they were like oh he just wants to do it because he doesn't want it to end right. so then at the end when he did it like everyone's crying and you know if you haven't seen dead alive by peter jackson that was that old the original zombie movie he yeah, did or it's, whatever. it's fucking amazing it's like it was like funded by the new zealand film literally like the it was film I think agency the government I think new new zealand money. i think he literally was uh fresh out of college and he made mm-hmm. this and it's like a really like super cartoony comic strip kind of script mm. but like the practical effects and everything and like it's just like such a fun movie i love it so much that's like probably my favorite still like mm. movie of his it's just fucking great and then he made the hobbit i think that he wanted a paycheck so we did the hobbit and the studio was like we're gonna have <clears throat> to make our version of the Hobbit." he hired stephen colbert to be in the hobbit really yeah, that was really cool. Stephen Colbert and, and Stephen Fry are both. In what, 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 what <clears throat> are in this? It's just like a bit cameo. I, I think that yeah. it, I think that Stephen Colbert probably paid a lot of money to be in the movie. Well, it's it's because he's a massive yeah, like yeah, yeah. super fan of Lord of the Rings, and right. uh, so is Stephen Fry. He's like <laughs> I don't, a Tolkien I don't know guy. Who Stephen Fry is. He's like a British panel host guy, but he does. Who's the QI. who is he in the movie? Just another. It's peasant, another. It's, it's in the random... first. I'm pretty sure it's in the first uh, one of the trilogy of the Hobbit. And it's like when they're going through that lake town that mm. they're both literally just like so make up up and have like practical effects on stuff. You just can't even tell right. who they are. But then like Stephen Colbert posted a thing. He's like, that was me. It was the guy sitting on the dock. Who cares, Stephen? Fuck and it was off. like him and his two kids. Yeah. It's like, like, no one gives a shit. Kill I'm here yourself. to see. Kill yourself, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Colbert. Yes, Stephen Colbert, I want you to honestly put a bullet in your brain. <laughs>